Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Manos Gaming back with another video. And today I'm teaching you guys a new GTA 5 money glitch. Um, there's gonna be two glitches in this video. Same thing though, but one has a requirement and one does not have a requirement. And this glitch is for people that are really broke in the game and that have no money. But before we get into this video, I want you guys to go check out my Twitch channel in the description. Hit a follow on that. I do streams. I stream um, Fortnite division any game you basically name and just make sure you guys leave a like on this video and subscribe and share it with your friends that are broke in this game so let's get straight into the video and peace <laughs> Okay, so this is the one with the requirements. So the first thing you guys want to do is call over your MOC. When you call over your MOC, make sure you in this location, you guys, because in this glitch, it will be very fast and consistent. So you go back to back to back, making this money. So make sure you in this exact location. After th these clips, I'm showing you guys on how to do it with the uh, requirement. I'm gonna do one without the requirement. It takes a little longer, but you still be making the same amount of money, but you'll be making it faster with the requirement. So just pick up your MOC and come back to this location on the map. Okay, when you got the MOC, you bring it back to the same spot. You guys want to drive over to this store right here and park it where I park the MOC at. Make sure the back of the MOC has a blue light. Cars will go by, so it might not show sometimes, but it's still fine. The glitch will still work. Technically, it's a money method, but it's a glitch. So, you guys want to make your way into the store and basically rob the guy. So, you pull up, you pull the gun to his face, you shoot around, and then you get very close to him. As soon as he holds the money bag with two hands, you guys want to hit him and spam right on the D pad. Show you guys right now. So, boom, you shoot around. So wait till he pops out the money in the bag and he's holding it with two hands. As soon as he's holding it with two hands, you guys want to hit him and op and then spam right on the D-pad to go inside the cash register. This is for people that are broke in the game. So boom, hit him, spam right on the D-pad, and then you get double the money. And then as you guys can see, you got cops on you. So you guys want to run into your MOC. And then get inside and then go right back out. And then you would not have cops on you. Then after you guys done that, you guys want to go inside the MOC and drive it to the ne next store that's near you. It's like right across the street basically. So just go to the next store that's right near you and do the same step. Okay, so when you guys are in the same steps, you guys are set. You guys can keep doing it back to back to back. But I'm going to show you guys right now that... You have to go to the other one. Okay, so boom, I spawned in. I'm going into my MOC right now. And then I'm going to drive over to the other store that's across the street from this one. And then when you guys did that store, you guys come back to the main store again and do it again. It's basically like triggering the other store to come back in place because you robbed the other one. So go down here and go rob the other store the same steps. And then when you guys do the same steps, you go back to the first store that you robbed and do it all over again. Okay, make sure you have parked the MOC near the door also. And do the same exact steps. You pull up the store. You shoot around, make them get scared before you can take out the money faster. Then you want to get close to him. As soon as you guys get close to him and he takes out the money bag with two hands, you guys want to hit him and spam right on the D-pad. After this clip, I'm going to show you guys how to do the no requirement method of this glitch. So, boom. Then you take and take the money and run to the back of the MOC. Boom. Okay, so when you guys load into the MOC, blah, 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 blah you guys are done with the glitch. And you can go back to the, the other store and do the same method again. But if you guys don't have an MOC, you guys don't have the requirement to do it. The thing that you have to do is put your location on last location, go to the store, and do the same thing. But when the cops get on you, you guys want to go to creator mode, 
and then go back to GTA 5 online and do the glitch again. I'm going to show you guys in this clip that's coming up. Okay, so this is the one that you do not need the MLC, no requirement. So the first thing you guys want to do is make sure you put, have your location on last location. And then go inside the store and do the same steps of the one with the requirement. So, you know, hold up the store again. Shoot around, get them scared before you can, you know, go faster and take out the money. Go next to him. As soon as he starts holding the bag with two hands, you guys want to hit him. Boom. And then press right on the D-pad. We'll spam it. And then you get double the cash. And then you guys want to just press pause and go to creator before the cops kill you. Okay, so you go into creator. And wait until the creator loads up. When the creator loads up, you guys want to click, go back into GTA 5 online. And when you click, go back into GTA 5 online, you guys will see that the store will still be there. It would say it's not robbed. The person will still be there, and you can go re-rob it again. Well, okay, so you can just wait till you spawn in to GTA 5 online, and you can see the store will still be there, and you can re-rob it again. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up subscribe and turn on post notifications and go check out my twitch channel in the description and comment and peace out